Can you explain when to go for double support? Asks for biscuit. I'm having troubles on decisively calling that shot. Warhead, oh, okay. Well, if the opponent has poke, that leads you to be unable to engage because you're always hurt before the fight even begins, double support is a nice thing to have. If the opponent has wombo combo, uh, burst, I thank you. Then it's I not enjoy as useful. I've your stream and YouTube videos for a while. I have learned a lot from watching you play. Thank you and keep on doing you. Thank you very much, uh, Sheridan. Glad to hear it. Just to finish that thought because I actually finished it too fast. Um, if the opponent has tools of isolation and divide and conquer, it's not that double support is bad per se. But the best thing against isolation, divide and conquer is warriors, more warriors. I will not be denied. So let's, let's say for instance, you're against Stitches and Zeratul. Who would you rather have hooked? A double support, double assassin, single warrior comp? Or would you rather have hooked uh, a double warrior, single support, double assassin comp. The double warrior are far more likely to block a hook, and they're far more likely to be okay while they're isolated. I'm here to help. Whereas if you're against Lunara Gul'dan, there's a lot of poison damage, or Lunara Chromie, would you rather have triple assassin, double support, or double warrior? Double warrior will actually eat up shots from Chromie, stacking her Q, but at the same time, they're also more okay to be hit. It's not perfect, but it's more okay than an assassin. However, having double support uh, always allows you a layer of protection against Chromie's burst, Chromie's ult, and you can outheal Lunara's poison so that you enter a fight with full life. There is always hope. None of what I said now covers the full load, and there's exceptions to everything. But. Is, is part of the story. I don't know if people would use false thought in unranked draft, but you never know. How is Zarya at the moment? Maybe a game later if you feel like it. I think Zarya's weak. Her energy depreciates really fast. Whenever she uses her self W, she becomes a focus target right afterwards. There's nothing that allows an uncooperative Hero League team to come together. I don't mean uncooperative. I mean, there's nothing that allows an uncoordinated Hero League team to come together like hello my shield is not available anymore it's like zarya allows the opponent to work together where otherwise they wouldn't have because people know you can burst her after she used her w Frostmourne hungers. and then her energy goes down so fast it's when she uses her shield that she has the most energy she's also at her most vulnerable she has a short range. Her wave clear is weak without having opponents contest her. She can still be good, and good Zaryas actually make a huge impact. It's just that in my experience, I win against Zarya, I lose with Zarya. For the frozen throne! Hey, thanks for the sub, 47. Yeah, that's true. Garros throw takes the cake on kill this one. It's it's so it's so powerful graphically that it leads to kills even if you don't have a stun follow up. 
How is D.Va then compared to Zarya? So I feel the same about D.Va and Zarya. They can work, but... It's difficult. It would be nice to have nano boost cooldown actually. I will not be denied. Uh, I'll go echo corruption. Agreed. Yes, it's the McCoy. The battle starts in. Hi, I'm a tank only player in here early. Can it work out for me? Yes. Everything will work out for you. Go. Young. Sam. Me. Itch. I will not be. Bitting. Taking hard quest talents in Warhead. Well, I just need to follow them. I need to be part of wherever the action is. I don't know why Oppo is contesting me, like contesting us. Ario has infinite sustain and so does Gul'dan and I'm getting stacks. Zoom soul. What is better overall? Fell flame or corruption? Uh, so the sickest build is when you go echo corruption together with hunger for power. It makes it a lot harder to stack your corruption because you don't get the 7 CDR but the amount of burst damage you can do is so insane. The Gul'dan build has been changing without a lot of patch changes. Kind of uh, going in between full corruption with CDR, full fell flame and in the end mostly at HCC they play echo corruption with hunger for power right now. Taurus did anyway, can stop trying. Yeah, the the spell power reduction, I mean the CDR reduction is really nice. At, uh, at that level. But this is just pure greed. It has the best late game. 
And because people don't tend to finish as much in uh, Hero League, I think specking for late game is actually a pretty good idea. Oh, hunger for power. Cool thing about hunger for power is that it also gives you more heal from uh, life drain and more heal from uh, consume soul and health stone at uh, 13. It reduces healing from allies, but it increases healing from uh, yourself. Because you have more spell power, and spell power always affects healing. took one step forward. I was thinking, why am I having a good game? And I, I mean, like, I don't mean like I'm playing good, just like, uh, feels normal. It's because it's unranked draft. I, I thought I was still in quick match, but it's like, it's quiet, everyone's doing their thing, it's not as serious as ranked, but it's still fun and it's still relevant comps. Unranked is actually un underrated, yeah. I agree. Range isn't that good. <laughs> ROD sell out. <laughs> Ouch. Quest complete. Suffer well. Dodge. Uh, dark bargain, health stone. When you have hunger for power, you should always go for uh, health stone. 
Because you get more. Like, it says it will heal 25%. For uh, which is 708, but it will heal for more. I can't say that it was a misclick. Because it would be a lie. Update. Warheads have been deployed. And Did anything hit? It healed for 874. 847. Yeah, so a little bit more. 15% more. The corruption was big, though. Assist our ally. Work order complete. Warheads fully deployed. Oh god, double nuke on the gate. Level back four. That was a mistake. Yes. Darkness within. She missed rough. I was standing still. I mean, she probably thought I was going to cancel rough and move. So it was like an advanced play. We could have finished this, it's 33%. That was really good, that uh, gate. Infinite possibilities. Your death will be excruciating.
It's already hurt the gates because of my uh, ROD. Oh no! Uh, we have no energy because he crowned Arthas. Is Q build also viable for Gul'dan? Yes, also viable. I have no idea what the level 20 upgrade for ROD is, but take it. Oh, I'll take it, alright. It's uh, it's really good. Um, oh no, no, no. Haunt is good. This one's r really funny. Half a second, 90% slow every time you hit someone. Oh, Grey Man engage, better life tap. I did for the spell power. So that I have a bigger drain life. It's very surprising to be hit by deep impact and find yourself 90% slowed, but it only lasts half a second. And I have a feeling, I don't know why, but I feel like in Heroes of the Storm, half a second lasts like a quarter second. I got this. Your time is at its end. <laughs> Get her, Ariel. <laughs> So good. Four hits on Jaina. See why I take it? Horrified couldn't have done that. I don't know, Burial. You have to open port 6112. UDP, TCP, everything in your router. Next time use it in ranked, I will. Complete. Safe drain for Cocoon. Okay. Smart idea, actually. Keep destroyed. We can defend as five. This realm's power Looking forward to this. <laughs> Your fort has been shattered. <laughs> Oh, what? How did he get me? No! Is it GG? How did that get me? Does he have elongated tongue? Yeah. Run! Run! That's so unlucky. I know Aegis, but it was too chaotic, I guess, for him. We're, at least we're getting top keep. 
All of this was really good because top value. Aha, too late. She might as well rough them. Okay, the plan now is hide behind gate. Oh yeah, we could ROD backdoor. It is a really high hit percentage. Assigning warheads for deployment. Calculating completion time. This realm's power will We don't have to back door. We're a little bit split. Rather chase than kill catapults. <laughs> oh man. Uh... <laughs> Got him. It's really nice of the team to provide a voluntary distraction. Starting a fight pretending to lose it, only for me to be able to peel off, branch off, and kill the core. Do you want to be top damage on your team? Do you want to get easy wins in unranked draft? Get a lot of loot chests? Make a deep impact with Gul'dan. Spell power build. Ah, no, no. Haha. <laughs> I baited them so hard in using all their abilities on me at almost no risk. 